Good morning to you on this Monday morning. I trust that you had a good weekend. So today we're continuing our consideration of Galatians chapter 5, and I'm going to read from uh, verses 19 through 21, where Paul describes the deeds of the flesh. Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmities, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, just as I forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Paul here describes a life without Jesus Christ. Paul here describes the deeds of the flesh. If we are not walking in the Spirit, if we do not have the Spirit of God abiding in our hearts, then this is the fruit that our life bears. These are the deeds of the flesh, and they are evident. We just have to look at the news, look around society. Immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmities, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. We see it all around. But these things should not be in our lives if we are Christians. Yes, sometimes we fail, sometimes we fall, sometimes the old Adam rises up, but we need to remember what Paul said earlier in this letter, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. The life I live in the flesh, I live in faith, the one who loved me and gave himself for me. Jesus gave himself for us so that we could be free of the deeds of the flesh, so that we would no longer live by the flesh, but live by the Spirit. Tomorrow we will have a look at what the fruit of the Spirit is, what a life looks like or should look like when we walk in the Spirit. But we need to continually work at these things. We need to continually be walking in the Spirit. As I said, the old Adam has been crucified, but he keeps trying to come back. And while we live in the flesh, we will struggle with these things. It was a continual battle. But greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. We have victory on our side. We will win if we keep our eyes firmly focused upon our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one who gives us the victory. He is the one who sets us free. And it's such a horrible list. It's just, it's just, let's hear it again. Immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing. It's just an awful, awful list. Tomorrow we will see the fruit of the Spirit, the contrast, and I hope that helps us to realize that we really want to be walking in the Spirit always. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you have saved us from the deeds of the flesh that you have saved us from living a life that follows our own stomachs, our own desires. Our desire is to serve you. We do fail at times, Lord. We do fall into temptation. We do sin. But when we do, we know that if we repent of our sins, that you forgive us. But we don't want to use that as a license to sin. We hate sin. We don't like this, this list that we just read. We don't want to see this sort of thing in our lives. Lord, help us to keep focused upon you. Fill us anew today with your Holy Spirit. Cleanse us, renew us, wash us in your blood, Lord Jesus. And give us a, a pure heart, a heart that just is filled with your love, Lord, and, and that overflows to other people, that we would be people of grace and mercy, that our life would demonstrate the fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and all the other things. Lord, please help us. Take us by the hand and lead us today. Fill us anew with your spirit. We ask your blessing over our country. We pray for our prime minister. We pray for our premiers. We pray for our governments and all governing authorities. We pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and understanding. Help them to make good and right decisions. We pray, Lord, for those who are suffering. We think of the Ukraine. We think of our brothers and sisters. We ask, Lord, have mercy. We pray for an end to the war. We pray, Lord God, Heavenly Father, thwart all of the plans of the evil one, of the enemy. We pray, Lord, have mercy. Be with those who are suffering in the floods here in Australia. Lord, we have so many people who have lost so much. We pray, have mercy. 
We pray for those who are struggling in life. We pray especially for those who do not know you yet. We ask that today would be the day they open their hearts to you. We commit to your care, Lord, the sick, the dying, and all who are in need. We pray, Lord, for the homeless. We pray for the orphans. We pray, Lord, for the lost. We pray for those who are depressed. We pray for those who are struggling. We just ask for your mercy. We pray for those, Lord, who proclaim the gospel, that you would fill them anew with your spirit today. Help us to be your light. Help us to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. You said that we are, and Lord, help us to be faithful in everything that we do. So we ask now that you would hear us as we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.